All right. Shall we? I think we should. Sure. So, uh, so who wants to do the recap? I think someone that, that isn't me should do it. I think it's a long time. I got a lawnmower game. going. I did. We mean it's been a long oh. time. I did it one or two times ago. I think it's been a really long time since Jake since Jake did it. Yeah. Dark, how do you feel? Where did we start last time? And I can do it, but I don't remember where we started. We, we started with the uh, with the council meeting and then the cathedral. Ah, oh, yes. According to my notes. So last time, our evil council of evil assembled for a lovely council meeting. There was no Chiron present at this meeting. He decided. He decided to. To just skip the meeting and be, well, do what he does best. Go off and be do secrets, making secret packs with people, who knows what. Anyway, we got on with the council meeting and decided on various things. And towards the end of the council, eventually, you know, after, after a few months of council meetings and setting various things into motion, we suddenly get informed that a town has been attacked by dragons. It sounded like Charles Gammon had started attacking, which was kind of a, it was kind of an alarming thought. But before we had a chance to rush out, suddenly the city itself was under attack from dragons, at least so we thought. To a pair of dragons, one black and one red, come into a, come into the council chamber. Surprisingly, surprisingly, so once being the same person, Telemundus and Chiron. Primary was now getting used to his new red dragon form after taking care of the village, which he very much, um, very much despised. Or a town, or whatever side of the city. <laughs> I don't know how big it was. Like, like a small city. So we, we, we discussed, we discussed, the, we discussed various things about this, including the fact that the dragons were drawn on a giant mirror. That was regardless of the point. I believe we set two, was it, two, did we set two clockwork dragons or one clockwork dragon? Did we even set them in the end? I don't remember. Two, I think. Two. You begun making two. Yes, okay, so we have two clockwork dragons which have been issued to be constructed. So I think someone suggested they should pay, be painted silver, so it's like we have silver dragons in our service. Which would be pretty amusing. I still um, think that's a great idea. Though, as certain deadlines were coming up, as there is proposed, um, well, for one, he got he got around to actually giving Zacharias the damn pile of notes which he had been forgetting to give Zacharias, who who reviewed them. And then we went off and well, that's something happened which I don't, which I'm forgetting. We went off and started doing, well, reinforcing some of, reinforcing part of the ritual, getting it at least onto the next step, so Navarus wasn't going to be so upset. And well. You know, Zachariah, you know, Zach, we've already agreed that if Zacharias is still worried, he can just run away when it happens. Anyway, regardless to that, um, during during this, however, Marcus and Azura suddenly get this overwhelming feeling that something bad is going on. It seems our lovely king had somehow turned to the side of good and slain Desida before fleeing from the city. We go... We go to encounter. We go to track down our, our fair ex king, slay him. Though when hell tries to drag him down for breaking its infernal deals, suddenly, suddenly, the heavens itself intervenes, and where he should be dragged into hell for all eternity, instead, his soul is somehow allowed to ascend and usher in angels ab above the capital. Earth earthquakes begun, though protected from Azuris's divine magic. Oh God, shit is happening. It's time to kill some angels. Hmm. And as you sort of finish off the well, watching the soul ascend, 
hear the echoing cracks as the earthquake shakes the capital, the main palace being struck hardest and first. As the angels look towards the Adarium, the miracle cast by a uh, high cardinal of hell, uh, reshaking as well, uh, the, the ground, moving up to block the divine influence that was, uh, that was making this, this happen. You see the angels still above the capital flying, probably readying for another earthquake as they, uh, as you again remember the words they spoke, rejoice, rejoice. Rejoice ye worthy and ye who are downtrodden, for the righteous have returned to tell God. Let the wicked wicked tremble, for now is the hour in which they shall reap what they have sown. Well, let's uh, let's get there and stop them, shall we? I think that's an excellent idea. Alright. Angel slaying. Great way to open a session. Away! So you slowly and methodically begin to move. Yes, we walk in a leisurely we pace. We stalk. Towards the... Uh, mm. it, 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 it's we like, stop it's off like, at the nearest tavern you, for a while. Do you have another miracle in hand? You know. You know. How how far away are we from from the angels, by the way? Approximately. That's a good question. <sighs> a, a, I mean, they're pretty much over the city. You're a good, good sort of distance out of the city. Um, kilometers, something like that. Okay. okay. If you can throw a miracle teleport to get us there. Is, is hell interested? Does, does hell see this in, our, in its favor to, to allow me to teleport the entire group there? You can certainly beg Asmodeus for it and see what he says. He will receive such beggings. Well, certainly. But, in my, but if we were to lose this, the work may be undone. Or. You could all grab my hands and I can teleport you with my boots. That works too. Not all of us. No, no. Oh, yeah, you're right. Because of the big creatures. Because we have sheep now counts for eight people, I think. <laughs> That's true. Um, Basically. Which is problematic. He needs to teleport himself. <laughs> I mean, worst comes to worst, with a 200 foot flight speed, I could, like, Travel a kilometer. You should, you should get like. No can time. you get a haste wand or something to haste yourself? So you're like you you quick because you can't teleport anymore, right? Uh no. Mm. Well, with with scrolls, but I don't have any left. Well, can get you a few, I guess. Yeah. All right. Well, then let's see some initiative. Uh, where, uh, are where, where are we? Don't worry, I'll. Till you're here, you're above the capital. Aha. Uh -huh. In the blackness that it is. <laughs> uh, can someone describe to me what it looks like? Because it's just black for me. Just black for me. It's. I think it's supposed it's to be just, just black. black yeah. And the guy says no. It's not black. Oh. Is this? It's black. Oh, oh there, we there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. This day. You made me sad for no reason, Manikai. That's me. So, well, hmm. Mm, indeed. They look tough. I guess. Indeed. I guess our buffs aren't all running from the from before. <clears throat> Ace will be gone. Uh, yeah. The short ones. The well, I'm kind of ones, glad course, I forgot to use my dimensional blades. There we go. All right. Well, uh, let's uh, start us off like we usually do, right? Everyone, go and take a break. Uh, <laughs> are, we, are, we, are we having the show opener? I think it is. Uh, e, probably. It's a good opener. Uh, anyway, uh, Zagros will cast haste on everyone at least. Quick and haste. Okay. Well, I have no reason to remove it. No. No. I, I just clicked on active mods. Maybe he'll cast something else that you will have to apply. Well, I just closed active mods and it, because, you know, the time attack. Uh, right. He will. Then go for the uh, for the time stop because why not? Might as well. Gaining one d four plus one rounds. I think it's two rounds minimum amount. All right. Well, uh, that doesn't allow me to set up uh, as much as I could. Then again, we are flying, I guess. Or uh, falling, alternatively. I'm flying. Good. <laughs> you can't um, fly. You're falling. I can fly. I can fly. I can fly. I can fly. I can fly now. I forgot I took that feat. There we go. 
Very well. Like, ah! <laughs> oh god! Uh, then, uh, Zagreus shall cast a Sirocco uh, on Amarath Amaratat. Is that, is that his name? Mm -hmm. Amaratat. Alright, so we're going to have a Sirocco on him. The dogs of heaven is coming. Yeah. Um, doesn't he get like blown down to the ground? Yeah, if he if, if he does the fail, but then the time stop he is not affected until until time resumes again. Right. But yes, uh, if so, he's going to be smacked into the ground. Um, and then Sakarias will cast. Is this roughly bigger than that? No. It's a twenty foot radius. radius. Twenty foot radius. What level is a quickened haste? A quickened haste. Should be seven. It's a seven. Yes. Oh. I remember to keep your your prepared spell list oh, updated then. Uh, I haven't had that updated in like months, <laughs> but I'm using I'm using a quicken rod for that one specifically. Sure. That's how I do most of that these days. Um, I want to put a force cage around the other guy. Can you? Target him? I, I target the area and lock it in a cage. He can do a reflex save to try to avoid it one time resumes. So, void, uh, uh, not void, um, force cage on Manamithra and Sirocco on Amaranthath. Uh, he will cast True Seeing on himself. And I th think. And a resist energy uh, fire on himself as well. And turn on the aura and move to here. Mm -hmm. That's it. I believe that's reflex saves from both of them, right? Uh, Does Sirocco have a uh, spell resistance? Uh, my time, yes. I'm almost certain it does. I'm pretty sure it does as well. And it's rocket does. Yes, it does. Right, so let's see. It's my caster mod, or my uh, ability mod. Plus six in this case because I didn't burn any dream essence. Yeah, false gauge does not have spare res resist. No. So that's a right, twenty-one. That, that's not going to do much. That's a your spell resistance. Yeah. Your spell resistance is level plus your. Oh, your then that's mods. another eight on that. So twenty-nine. Uh -huh. that, that will do it. Right. So that hits. Uh, fortitude save for him. Fortitude save. DC 27. He makes that. Alright, then uh, he's not thrown. Very good fortitude save. He th he's not thrown to the ground. Uh, he will take some fire damage. 46 plus 19, half of it. Uh, it takes half of 32. Which is 16 fire damage. Seemed uh, seems rather resistant to fire. Does it take any damage? Some. Um, okay. That he means also. Oh, uh, that on. means that he is now fatigued. And he needs to make a DC 15 fly check or get like blasted 60 feet down. No, uh, that's only f if you fail the fortitude yeah. save. That's if you fail the fortitude save. Well, that negates being knocked prone and has the fire damage. It just, it just says flying creatures forced into the ground by the powerful down. You can't fail a oh. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. Uh, but he is uh, he is fatigued, so that's something. Uh, other guy needs a reflex save. DC twenty eight. Twenty-eight. Yep. It's a Twenty, in fact. All right. Well, then the the cage hangs in the air, and he can sidestep next to it. Mm, sure. You you don't need to paint it no. since like the space is so vast. No. Oh well, I tried. Well. 
getting out of that Sirocco might be it might be something to consider. It would be, it would be a good good idea. So uh Angels aren't that smart. No. No. Stop no, no. Angel. Here, attacking a second of ice. Sure. That's a hit. I have a 20% miss chance. He has trucing. Okay. Then that doesn't matter. But it does not bypass bludgeoning, I believe. No. Okay. Is that... Um, uh, that's only damage. That's, uh, I think... That's his turn. Yeah, that's fine. So Chloe will act with cash. If everyone wants to stay within 10 feet of me, I can give you guys all a smite. Wait, what happened to Cash? Hmm? That was Chloe who got moved. Oh, right. Right, right, right. Well, this one here. Smack this beast. How dare you? Nix is a good Nix is a good creature. Well, well he's a <laughs> good in quotation marks. I don't think he's anything really. He's just a snow thing. A uh, simulacrum would probably just be neutral. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. See, does the spell say anything about it? Um... Illusory dupli duplicate of any creature, so I guess whatever base creature you used, it would have that alignment. Right. Whatever Void Dragon would have, then. It's neutral evil, I think. Yeah. Well, it gets it gets smacked. Yep. It's head. Yes, it's a neutral evil dragon. Huge dragon, normally. So smacked. do we all want to delay after Marcus? Because there's no reason not to. Alright, Nyx will uh, look at the Mana Mithra here. That, that wasn't nice at all, actually. Um, that wasn't nice at all. Uh, but then again, Amaranth is kind of provoking his uh, his dear master over here. So uh, Nyx is going to open his uh, horrid uh, maw and just void stuff. He just oozes out and hits uh, Amaranth at half half. Uh, that means that he's basically his breath is uh, is as if he is casting the suffocation spell. Uh -huh. um, so he will need to do a fortitude save again. Because that you need suffocate breath. Yeah. DC. I'll check two seconds. He most likely wins unless it's an insanely high DC. No, I don't think it is insanely high. Probably not. Constitution based. Con and half hit dice we we use. Uh, twenty three is the DC. Right. Yeah, he passed that. All right. He okay. is staggered. However. Is he though? The suffocation breath doesn't say that anything happens on a failure. Hmm. Mm. Just can breathe a cone-shaped suffocation effect. I don't think it specifically is well, the suffocation Well, if it's a suffocation spell. effect, then I don't know of anything else that does that. So I would assume it's like the spell. That's what I uh, Let's see if I can find it. Will you link me to the damn creature? Yes. You might just be talking about the environmental rules of suffocation. Yeah, that that's my guess as well. I don't think it's just as suffocation because that would be pretty terrifying. But I, I don't know, it's not, not my creature after all. I mean, it's a space dragon. Let's see here. Uh, uh, it's, space it's an air dependent creature that fails the fortitude save, suffocates for a number of rounds equal to the dragon's age category, which I guess would mean that it doesn't, it has to hold its breath basically for that number of rounds, which I think normally there's like penalties for if you have to hold your breath while you're doing things. That's what you suffocate for a number of rounds. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Suffocation rules are... I will post section of suffocation rules. <sighs> that is the suffocation rules as out of the SRD. No air. Can hold your breath. 
So if it takes a standard or foreign action, introduced by one more, you must make a fortitude save or constitution check. Oh, okay. It is. Let's see. After this period of time, you must hold the constitution. Yeah, all right. I must repeat each round with a DC increasing pass one. All right. So when you fail, the constitution actually begin to die. Yeah, so when you fail your or when you fail your constitution checks, then you've got like the suffocation spell basically. It's a pretty pretty badass con though, so it's gonna take a long time um that to kick uh, in. Uh for... he can however not cast verbal component spells mm -hmm. because he has to hold his breath. Unless he stops holding his breath, falls unconscious. Um what was the rules for gaze attacks? Can you do them for free? Or did you have to That depends on the gaze attack. Most gaze, gaze attacks take a standard action to do. Okay. Here. Uh, does it say? No. A creature within thirty say. feet of an adult or older void dragon must succeed on a will save or become confused. That's what it says. All right. Well, that means all of you should do a will save. Or become confused. I mean, admit that we've been here. We've been around it for longer than one day six rounds. But yeah, so you should have done it before. But well, we yeah. should have done it when it first entered the council chamber. <laughs> Does it actively use? Yeah, this it's a mind affecting things? effect, which I'm immune to. I don't know. I I'm not sure how the. If it's not, it can close its eyes to not do it, but it seems like it's just a thing. It has like an aura of fire. It, is, it has a gaze attack, yes. Yeah, which but it seems to be a passive one, which is always active. Right. It doesn't state anything else. Yeah. So so I guess everyone everyone within thirty do your. Uh, since we never did it before, let's find out, right? I'm immune to mind affecting effects, so. No. Uh, the dragon might make you confused. That's what's going on. So. So charisma. Yep. No, it says that it's a mind affecting DC, effect. DC is. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're, you're. It's what, what, 23. What kind, what kind of save? Will. 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 It will save. You're Shall looking for. On? Yes, but you're out of range. It's only, only 23, though. So. Yeah, but. More than 30? That is not that guy. I think you succeeded on a natural 20. Yeah, but you still have Chloe. Nope. Um, well, Chloe, let's be honest. Well, confused. Chloe's not going to do a whole lot. <laughs> no, but she can't do her healing thing now. Uh, her wand didn't do a lot. Uh, it's Medica, for five rounds, if you get confused. Medica gaze attacks do say uh, opponents. Oh. It does not say But creatures. this one specifies all creatures. Okay. Uh, but the generic rules. No, wait, for it says a creature though. within. Right, it a says creature, creature within. Yeah. so it's, that would mean it's something it uses actively. Okay, so something is focused. Okay, yeah, you can do it as a standard action. Okay. You guys don't have to. Uh, take. There we go. Also, for the gaze rules, it says a creature with a gaze attack can actively gaze as an attack action by choosing a target yeah. within range. Yeah. Right. So, it did also... it change anything? No. It does, however, also have alien presence, which is the, like, Frightening aura of a normal dragon. That is something you can decide to not use, though. Okay. It it's probably works the same way as the frightening presence, which is something you can activate as a free action, basically. Okay. Dude, next time we go to a party, you don't bring your dragon. <laughs> it's Makes everyone dizzy and There's stuff. a lot of dragons. Yeah, but that one is just weird. What's wrong with mine? Keep it at, in your garden. No, All right. it's have a garden. just so confusing, literally. <laughs> Get a garden. All right, let's make it a serious. Okay. Okay. No, I want. Uh, oh, whatever. I think you can try to read up on what it can do. He, he used his weapon already. He already used his yeah, I wanted to move. Oh sure. I wanted to like go back here. Take the attack opportunity. Sure. Smag it. Huh? Mm hmm. I've no, I've no idea how much health it has, but oh well. Oh, That's a decent shot. Very well. Azurius is going to move to here. Uh -huh. It will fight just five foot step there. Um, because of what I want to do. I'm going. Actually, I don't need to because I'm quickening. Yeah. So I'm going to move here. I'm going to go ahead and two things. I'm going to do a quickened blessing of fervor, which is going to affect everyone but Zacharias, including the dragons. Hooray. And then I'm also going to cast Divine Vessel to become a vessel of pure law. That's not nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm okay with it. A vessel of pure law and order, which I have an, I have an active mod for, which I've simply made. Um, and then the it gets... too. Apply penalties and bonuses now, please. 
What does it do? Um, well, the best what it does is it basically it's a self buff on Azurius, which I you know, get damage reduction, con, a bunch of other stuff like he, that. He, he becomes a my, a tiny ah. incarnation of Asmodeus. Aww. It's awful side, more specifically. Not I mean, tiny side. compared to the real Asmodeus. Still a little, a little bigger than you, you, I think. When you yes. said tiny, it just made it cute. I'm sorry. And then, yeah, so I gain an extra, like, 60 hit points. Okay. That'll be a zero's turn. Everyone is blessing a further. Oh, it's all Uh, delay after Marcus. Cash. I want to be big too. <laughs> Do you have something uh, to make yourself big? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, we're up in the air, so I need to fly, so I'm going to activate the... You, you should probably also delay after Marcus. What? But I need to cast buffs. I'm going to get you smite, is what Marcus is trying to do. But Oh, if you're just casting buffs, sure. But, but stay That's close all. to Marcus. That's just as long as I'm within 10, right? Mm -hmm. You you're gonna be pushed, Marcus. Okay. Out just, the way. Just just a little bit. Uh Cash is gonna drink uh, her vui vui vle, uh form. The French vibrant. Yes. Vui vle. Vui, 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 I like a cheese. <laughs> oh. you you so you like that's it. how you do it. Now you have a hand to stinger. I'll put my stinger on you. Oh. <laughs> um, you can. I, I'm, I'm applying all this. All right. Chloe will just do nothing. Yeah, yeah. she's confused. Marcus. No, she's not. She's yes, not. she is. No, she's not. That thing wasn't happening. But uh... it was a mistake. Marcus. So, uh, sorry, Azurius, and also Nix the Void Dragon. But uh, can I'm going to. Can I give you a flight? You could five foot flight, I suppose. Oh yeah, I could. Five foot fly over cash so that everyone except the void dragons in range. Um, then I will use a swift action and two uses of smite to give everyone within ten feet of me smite using my bonuses, which is um, plus eight to hit and AC versus your target and plus thirteen to damage on every hit oh, against them. They, they're given the opportunity to use. It. Yeah, they're given the opportunity uh, to use it, which you must use it before my next turn, and the bonuses last for one minute. Um, and I guess I five foot step, so I can't really move or attack or anything. So I will cast Iron Skin on myself. Oh, huh. this? Or no, I will do my weapon buff rather. Alrighty, Thermal is going to use his Smite against this guy over here, uh -huh. and then he'll do a flyby attack, basically going like, kind of like this. Mm. Like this. Mm. <laughs> and then he's Hang going on. to fly by attack this guy. You'll also get smacked ah, in the face. You might sure. not want to stay there. Can you stay further away? Uh, uh, I want to give Cash thanking that. You want to get exhausted? N no. Get I, I can't. It will be like over uh, here uh, or over here. You know, if, if Zacharias <laughs> points in that way, then he'll keep flying. Whatever. Uh, that is certainly a hit. I will apply the damage in a moment. Let me do the attack for Tremondos here, which will That's be at a plus eight, you said, Jake? Mm, yeah, plus eight. And the, uh, eight. the damage? It's dark, got it. In chat. Plus 13 damage. I'm going to... to add in your label who you're smiting. Double, yes. actually, because you're, you're attacking... Double on the first hit. It's a good outsider, yeah. Dub okay, well, that's... Double, plus... double only on the first hit. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm only doing one attack here, so yep, yep. So Double. yes, I don't think I need to true strike on this. You have honestly. the war as well, by the way. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't have it over there. I think they are immune right. to acid. They are immune to acid, so that is seven. Uh, yeah, seven damage less since it's two d six. Just subtracting seven might be easiest, mm -hmm. which would make it ninety four damage. No, what what the. Yeah, be... It's physical, it's magical, it's yep. blood and it piercing slashing. It goes through all damage reduction anyway. And it's a smite, yeah. That's true. And as for the Blessing of Fervor, I'm going to take the AC because, yeah. That would also be a plus two to hit. Yeah. 
Not too worried about hitting. Also, DC 27 fortitude save, or he is nauseated. I do feel kind of alone on my flank now. <laughs> Those are some pretty sounding birds. Can you hear the bus outside my window? Mm. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. I'm having trouble telling if they're your birds or the birds outside my window because my speaker's in the same location, basically. I have birds oh. outside my window. Remember the oh. damage sheet. I like birds. Oh, right. Sorry. Um, okay, also needs to make its fortitude save, so yeah. I will keep remembering the yeah, damage until my turn first. Uh, Karen will cast a Quickened Shield, uh, use his standard action to cast Bull Strength, and then he'll move over uh, yeah. here and also activate his Rage. Uh, just ignore the attack rolls, I just... This is easier to activate my rage with. Zacharias. Alright, Zacharias will... <clears throat> quicken teleport. Here. Does not provoke. Uh, once here, he casts uh, the ever-powerful Waves of Exhaustion. He will burn the way Marissa's on this. We're 40. Yep. Uh, and they are exhausted. No save. No save. That's the, it. The problem. The fearful things about necromancy. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I imagine the void, though I sap the strength. Yes. The range of the damn thing. Sixty foot cones. It would hit both of them. I I painted it. It was on the. Yeah. It's sixty foot cone for. For race of exhaustion. Did it remove the fatigue? I think it did. Yeah. Yep, it did. Good. Oh god. There we go. So uh, yeah. In retrospect, maybe sh I shouldn't have given the angel a full attack, but we'll see. Well, if it well if it ends up injuring you, then at least I have something to do with my sound action. I just hope it can't smite because evil dragon. That's another wave of exhaustion. All right, that's is that a verbal component though? If he is he still being suffocated by Nyx? Uh, no, because he passed his save. Oh, okay. So now we're exhausted. Mm -hmm. I'm immune to that, right? Am I? Yep. Yes. Okay, you good. Uh, are both immune to it. Spell resistance, Manikai? Yeah, spell oh, resistance. That is a good point. I also have spell resistance right now. Let's see, what's the thing? It's caster level. Caster it's level. Cast le it's just caster level, unless you have like spell per penetration. D20 plus caster level. So how much spell resistance does everyone have? 25. A fair bit. I think. 25. 31. Aww. Aww, right. oh, listen to him, boss. Yeah, it just bounces off a series as Divine Shield. Exhausted. Good thing I'm already raging. I don't think it kicks me out of range, uh, out of rage, because I've never read a state that says that it would. What about uh, Chloe? She's just exhausted as well? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> she only has 18 spell resistance, so... Well, maybe she was so tiny it didn't matter. It doesn't matter anyway, because no one, like... Her AC is not going to matter a lot. Well, with Exhausted, I can only do one action, right? No, that just means you take a penalty to strengthen um, dex. Oh, okay. Which means, which does mean Chloe now has free dex, I think. With free strength. Well, so this, this fucker thinks he's going to be going to be awesome. Then, then he can get the, get the smite. Smiting. I'm smiting too, though. Yeah. Smites everywhere. Yes. It, it just means a lot more damage in the end. We have mm. some more AC as well, so... Mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, the plus two from the blessing. That's right. 
No, from and the remember, smite. And remember, remember the smite's bonus is a deflection bonus, please. Uh, how much deflection is it? Is that be I think it's Marcus's charisma, which is eight. Yeah, I don't have any other deflection. Uh, actually, I do. I have plus four, so that would be a plus four. four AC Where from you have that. Plus four from. Uh, ring. And oh, I believe you, you are an evil dragon. Sure. I think so. Last, last you time take I double damage on the first hit. Last you, gave you him, can. And you gave him a full attack. <laughs> well, mm. Mm, I might have a heal mass coming up. It might, it looks like. If he survives. You know, so, be better me than anyone else. They will get my that's, bonuses that's, based off my stats, right? Not my items, because I have items that increase my AC and damage from smite. So. That's a miss, and the crit doesn't confirm. That's plus 18 damage. Okay, 18 plus... You know, it's always good to actually see how, how much damage these guys do. That that was my entire plan. Of course. <sighs> Smack you around the head. Or a dragon. Uh, well, he will avoid gaze at uh, at Amaral Rafafafa. Alright, uh, uh, we'll is, save. It is a will save, yes. DC? 23. Not much, but something. He makes that. Oh, okay. Then he's not confused. Do you want to remove anything? Um, mm, no, he's f currently fine there, I think. Alright. Serious? Okay, so... Someone, someone over there needs healing. You could smite going... someone, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be smiting someone. Yeah, it's a swift action though, so no quicken spells. I believe. Let okay. me check that. Oh, it's not a free action? Yeah, it is. Oh. oh, wait, no, 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 using this ability is a free action. Okay, yes. Okay, good. So I'm going to move here, I'm going to smite... him. Sorry. So I'll add that my label that... How do you spell his name? <laughs> Mana, hyphen, Mitra. And then... There we go, it's in my label. Um, okay, on top of that though, Kyron, you're going to get heal. Alright, just stay standard heal. So, yeah, it's 150 hit points, remove your, remove your exhaustion. That's, that's the best part of the entire heal. <laughs> At this point it is, yeah. It's just, oh, thank goodness. You're no longer exhausted, which is quite bad. And then on top of that, because, you know, we, all, we always like good things around here, right? So let's have um, a quickened prayer on top. Hooray! Hey. Which, of course, will affect everyone but Telemundus. Aww. Because he's too far away. Um, I will also go ahead and roll the spell resistance against the angels. I'll be 26 against the angels, which might be a fail. That is not enough. Very well. They are not affected by the prayer. No. Yes. All right, well. Cash. Just a sec. I'm applying the prayer. Sure. I, should I know it could take a little bit of time that that time. Yeah. I, should, I, should, I just just make macros for applying stuff like prayer. Yes. <laughs> Um, is someone gonna help me with the a flanking position? Uh, you would can. get flanking right now if you move here, but he might. Wait, wait, wait! I, I, I can't. He's exhausted and slow though. Now you can show me. Oh yeah, uh, Tina, uh, cash is slowed. If you moved here, but that would be quite far. Mm. What slowed cash? Uh, exhaustion. Exhaustion. Exhaustion makes you slow. Oh, right, not the spells. Like you, you could still reach. Uh, no, you would have to fly through him, which you can't really. Yeah. Actually, if you. Ah, you could make it. You could make it. He would get an attack of opportunity, definitely. Well, he's going to get that really no matter what, isn't he? Yeah, that's true. You can move here with your 60 foot fly speed right now. Um. Assuming that is your actual fly speed right now. Or here. Your fly speed. Uh, it is okay. now. It's haste fighting the. Oh yeah, it's exhaustion to make it. That's <laughs> pretty much the same. Well, uh, for help, I'm gonna use my ring on him. That gives me one more AC against. You're gonna, you're gonna. Could smite him too. Smite him too. Yeah, yeah it's but. It's a free action. You should. It is. Then I'm gonna smite yeah. and use the ring on him. You are smitten. 
you have smitten the kitten. Um, Wait, we have a kitten? The angels could. actually cat people. I'll take his attack opportunity. Does, <laughs> does, this, does this count? You are now flanking. Yes. Yeah, yes. flanking, yes. He's gonna smack you. Try to. Share this square of border. How much AC do I have? Do I have uh, my ring? You have eight plus at least. My ring, yep. uh, which gives me. Do you have a ring of protection? I have ring of foe focus. Okay, so you don't have a deflection bonus, do you? Which means you get plus eight from me. And then also plus two from um, blessing of fervor on top. <laughs> so plus we have blessing of fervor. Oh, that's amazing. Well, but we have haste, so it only has plus one from blessing. It's of only fervor. a plus one. Oh, that's very true. I have plus one from uh, blessing of fervor and plus two from my ring, uh, my mm. foe focus. Then plus eight from uh, the thing, <laughs> which would get you to forty-four. You just no. hit... What? For 45, I think. Plus 1, plus you 2 on the ring, plus 11. The math. For 44, it would just hit. Oh. Did you have a ring of protection? Yeah. You, you know, Sheep, you know what makes my... You know, you know you see, can you see my AC right now? Uh, I have no deflection bonus, so add the full plus 8. Oh, nice. You nice. take 44 damage. I also don't have any deflection bonus. Um, you don't be relying on my shields of faith. Do I still get yeah. to hit him? I'm not sure because I'm a little confused. You yeah. Yes. You move, to, you move to standard action, you should get one stab. Okay. Um, Which is a uh, plus 8 to hit and plus 26 60, yeah. damage. Plus it's 30. plus 26 because it's the first yeah. hit. Next, after this, it'll just be plus 13. Okay, what? I get plus what to what? Plus 8 to hit. Nice. And plus first, plus twenty six damage. Twenty six. Mm hmm. On account of Marcus. And that's it, mm. right? You also get the extra plus one from uh, to hit from um well blessing a fervor, but you know. True. Uh, but I'm not within range of Zacharias. I'm sorry, guys. So it's plus it's total plus plus nine to hit and plus twenty six damage. Flanging and ten d eight attack. Ah! An unexpected error has hit. occurred. You hit, though. You hit. For 87. 87 damage. Which is a pretty good dagger. Which bypass? I mean, really, the big thing about this might is it bypasses the. Uh, but uh, now I can't attack, attack anymore. Huh? Yes, you can. You, you, just, you just attack. Man, man, no, I'm talking about the frame. Try to, double, try to double click the little memory part on there. Which one? The one that's like green and has numbers on it. Nothing happens when I do that. It should freeze for a moment and then get better. No, I still can't use it. The attack frame just broke. Hmm. Marcus? Oh, um... I have to try to reconnect them. Um, it looks like Manamitra's okay. Uh, kind of locked down. So, I will... <laughs> Go tank the other one. Smite the other one, yep. Hey, guy. Ah, my good friend Marcus is here. Mm-hmm. So, we've got... Plus 8 to hit, plus 17 to damage because of my bracers. I've got plus 10 AC versus him because my armor is dastardly. Um, <laughs> Telemondus isn't close enough to flank, but nope. that's okay. That means some incredible reach. Yeah. Flaming ver burst vicious. Did you do Elfman. something to stop? Uh, yeah, did you do something to stop attack of opportunity? Um, I can. Sure. Wait. No, because I smote him, so no, he can hit me. But I have 51 AC versus him, so... Bring it. So... <laughs> yep. Ah. That's yep. a mess. Okay, so I don't... Well, it's my... If you hit him, lock him down as well with the... Yes, with the... Um, dimensional. Dimensional anchor. Yeah. Uh, will... I do have plus a bunch to hit him, so I might as well power attack, because it's my first attack. 
I have like plus 19 bad, so. Forty-seven, and then that's like sixty-nine damage. I don't know because it bypasses all damage reduction. Does that include fire? Oh, no, because that's resistance. No, no it yeah. doesn't. So we'll just call that ten of each. So it's then fifty-nine damage. How, how many d6s of fire do you have? It's oh, just one d6 actually. Yeah, it's, then you would just do minus yeah. four and call it good. Sure. Know, h half a point above average, mm -hmm. which would be 30 minus 4, 65 physical and unholy. And then I take 1d6 damage. And then could I deal repeat, 5 damage. Could you repeat that? What what did you do the d6 for? Um, he, I damage myself. It's vicious. That uh, no. four is damage on me. And did you lock him down? Right. Yep, he's uh, dimensional anchored. Okay. We are revoking your plane our passport. Salamandus. Uh, well, Salamandus will do what he does best and fly around frantically, biting at things, doing another flyby attack like this. Uh, yeah, but basically like this. He he will he will still get an attack of opportunity if Manamitra has one, because he definitely touched his reach. And then he'll bite at him, getting uh, the smite damage again, the double thing. Yeah. On the yeah, first no, attack. No, just the first attack ever against him. Ever. Okay. Well, so you'll take you'll take a uh, attack of opportunity. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Forty-eight AC versus him. That's a miss then. Yeah. It hits the Asmodian ward and a vital strike. Uh, that's with the temporary attack bonus, so that's a miss. All right. Kyron. If Kyron gets another full attack, he's a bit screwed. Um. That's his problem. Uh, he is smiting. He will probably power attack. Uh, does Zacharias have his aura active? Yes. Would it reach Chiron? No. No. Awesome. Then he's just going to do his full attack. I'll, uh, I'll check. Hang on. Nope. It's 30 foot radius. So. 30. Uh, bites are both hits. Oh, Jesus. Bad damage. I love smite. Uh, <laughs> 44 is also a hit. It's like having a class feature fully I, advanced I without know, being the right? class. It's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, okay, that's four hits. Really remember that, uh, let's see, you need a, um, a much higher to be oh, smiting. smiting you, need, you need a 55 to hit him. 55. So that's all misses. All right. Good. Uh, Wait, all misses? Yes. Was... 55 because he's smiting. But didn't you have a, like a 59 in there and a 56? Uh, the, those those are the damage, damage rolls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're so similar to the attack rolls now, it's like, wait, what? I know. Press. The, the <sighs> smite aura oh, should really cost three uses to um, use, not two. Sagarias will throw down a quick and dacing fireball on Amarathathath. Uh, no, quick and doesn't threaten. Oh, yeah. Uh, so 46 to Pierce, and he gets minus 2 from Marcus, so that's a minus, DC... Yeah. Minus 2, yes? Mm, yep. Uh, that is a oh, DC 25 okay. reflex save. Makes that. Okay. And he will take fire damage. You should. 29 fire damage, not much, oh. but... Those Do damage like rolls of mine, by the way, were completely wrong because I changed the temporary damage bonus on the wrong character. Then he's going to go over here. Um, that's That'll take it, sir. Yes. <laughs> it's perfectly fine for him. Wow. That is a uh, hit. Because I'm not smiting because I didn't get any. <laughs> and then he there. will cast Dimensional Anchor on Manamithra. Also burning some Raymer Essence. 
How much money can we spend in one battle? Oh, you'll find out. I, I guess oh, these guys, Amelia. all of it, uh, you know. I'd like to keep some money. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. That would be, I guess, the first haste. I don't know. <laughs> sure. Does it matter? Uh, let's see if I pierce. Another 46, he is dimensional anchored. And the ore is still going, and that's it. No leaving. You're staying right here until we check your documents. Hey, guy. Sorry for the chat spell, I'm just changing something. There you go. Chat spam at its greatest. Oh. oh, this guy hurts, so smite him. Let's see how well you do. How much AC are you up at? 51 against him. Alright, I guess. No, I guess 52 because we'll... of the bonus. From walking the We sleep better. And you aren't undead, so you would take the. Yeah. I am an evil undead, that's true. I mean, we've made all the wrong this decisions. It's just a uh, full attack. I mean, there's only one. You can't have good undead in normal force. Take it. Uh, two hits. I take damage. It hurts. You take an extra 18. Owie. You know, I can't heal both of you and. That's Sorry. okay. I have fast healing. Touch your damage production with ease. Yes, yes, he does. Smiting you. This is the part where it's great to have like 300 something health. Uh, this one then, you know, that whole thing with that lady with her is not really, not really super awesome. So, uh. There's this giant dragon in his face. Yeah, yeah, that's not great. Just fly, fly over here. Attack of opportunity. You get one each. Do we still have those buffs and all that? The smite is still going. The smite yeah, is going, but it's you're only also plus flanking. 13. Except, yeah, your damage is no longer plus um, 26. It's just plus 13 now. Yeah. Okay, so still. So... Oh, that should only be the second one, which would be a total miss because he's smiting. Still a plus 9 to hit, though. And the damage was now, what, 18? 13. 13. Actually, I made a mistake. This should be higher, too. There we go. See if it works this time, or if it breaks again. Yeah, it breaks. Uh, you guys have to fight for me, because uh, map tools can't. I can only have to log in and log out every time. I will prepare a frame. You did hit, though. You did <laughs> yeah, hit, and you it did works. crit. It works once and then Yeah, but she can do one attack and then it breaks, so... But I'll open a frame for her and put it on my side of my screen. Thank you. 103 damage attack of opportunity. From a dagger. On a dagger. <laughs> from a dagger. <laughs> oh. From the dagger is what makes it impressive. Once you said she should use a mace. <laughs> no, you <laughs> wanted her to use a rapier. A scythe. Oh god. <laughs> oh yeah, Heal scythe. Cast. That's how you do it. Heal on himself. Oh, I wish there was like a way to just get rid of that uh, sauce gem without having to like remove it twice. Nope. You're not, you don't get away with it that easily. It takes forever. Yes, it does. All the people looking up from below. Some running, some moving around. But They're like, all, Th these the are magic. the people that rule us! With all the magic going around, it probably looks like a Dragon Ball Z fight at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's screaming. It's only the first round of buffing up. And all things considered, this fight has more dragons than Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's really a misnomer. 
it also, it well, only no, has it's one not a scene. misnomer. They're not dragons, they're the Dragon Balls. That's yeah. true. One could argue that this fight also has Dragon Balls. Nyx. <laughs> oh, uh, Nyx will sorry. try to dispel the... Let's see here. Spell magic time, hold on. Yeah, he'll try to dispel the buffs from Amaratatat. Normal dispel magic? Yeah, it's a normal dispel magic. The highest level one. Yeah. That's the DC you're trying to beat is... <laughs> DC is 11 plus CL. So, so that no. doesn't do it. No, that doesn't do it. That was a poor, poor roll for Nyx. You know, poor... he tried. It's an extra free action that... Do they seem to have a Sorry. lot of buffs running? Uh, some. Mm -hmm. not, a, not a ton. Okay. Is there a first thing? So he just healed? Yeah. Well, let's, let's try undoing that. Let's try some destruction. So, this, this, this spell auto hits. I'm, I will do spell resistance. I'm going to burn Dwayne Resistance for it. Which is something I haven't done in a while. Is it plus five for Dwayne Resistance? I think it was. Right, that does it. A piece of spell resistance. He needs to make me a fortitude save. Right. You got a. What DC we're looking at? Uh, one second. I just need to. I don't think. He, he succeeded. He succeeded? Okay. In that case, he's going to take. 37 unavoidable damage. There is no resistance um, to it possible. I, yes, smite actually does work on spells. So I forgot about it, that. Only spells that have attack crawls, though. Yeah, yep. But still, it's and very do good. actual damage. Yes. Like um, you can't do like, smiting innervation for mm, plus yeah, 18 negative levels. <laughs> no, it, it would increase the to hit bonus on it, though. That'd be, that'd be pretty good. <laughs> it would improve the to hit bonus on it. Yeah. It and then I'm going to... Fly, fly up to here because you know the new car in a shield. Why wouldn't I? Uh -huh. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, try a um, a quicken to spell magic on him. All right. Oh, good. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this would be eleven plus his cast level to DC. So cast level eighteen or lower. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. So that would uh, that would dispel a thing. It's highest level buff, whatever yes. it might be. I will mark up the spell slots now I've done that. Can you dispel smite? Nope, it's not a spell. It's a supernatural, it's a supernatural ability. Object. Ah, true. And that'll be Azura's turn. Smite wouldn't work in an anti-magic field, I suppose. Then. It would not. Nope. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> I, I can cast anti-magic field, I'm not going to though. Wait, did you just get smaller? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, you just made his AC higher. Well, he also probably doesn't... Depends what he uses. Used, because if he had, has like similar well, to what I have, running like Righteous Might, he just lost natural armor, though. Yeah. Well, uh, his touch AC is what I'm concerned about, because I'm going to be using Dimensional Blade. You uh, saying one hit 21? Can you set up a, a flanking for me? Well, he's smiting me also. Mm. Even so. Yeah. Touch. I could probably yeah. set a flanking up for you. Then uh, Cash will delay after Chiron. Delay after after Telemondus. Oh, Telemondus, sorry. No. Someone was at that point. Swift action, cast Dimensional Blade, five foot step forward, and full attack against his touch AC. Um, things like, let's see, what is it? Things like Mage Armor and Shield and, hmm, what? Does smite work? Yes. Yeah, smite works. Good. So smite, mage armor, and shield, those still apply, basically. But other than that, just against this touch AC. Um, power Isn't attacking. Neither mage armor nor shield. Yes, power attacking. Let's power attack. That looks like all hits. Alrighty. Oh, good. Goodness um, gracious. there's one d sixes of fire in there. Yeah, just so minus seven for each one. There's a 1d10 one D6, actually. I thought minus 7 for d6. Uh, minus, minus 4, sorry. <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? <laughs> one of them is a 1d10, so... Great. So, minus 7 what? times... How many hits is that? 5. Five and then minus, minus 6 for the d10. Yes. Alright. Ah, good. Bye. <laughs>
Yeah. Oop. Describe. This is what uh, Mark is best at. Let me take 5d6 damage first. Ow! Oh, I get hurt by it. My flesh! Yeah. Uh, and then let me heal 5 damage first. Just want to get all the button pressing out of the way first. Okay. So, uh, you know, flying around, Marcus is... Doesn't have any, you know, he's flying, but he doesn't have any wings or anything, just this sheer force of vampiric will keeping him aloft. Uh, you know, this angel hit him in the face really hard, and he was like, ah, that sucks. But you are no match for me, foul beast, and, uh, well, not foul beast, I'm the foul beast here. Um, uh, Marcus uttered a word before stepping forward, and his blade seems to be made of, like, two-dimensional material. It lost all of its width, allowing it to slide cleanly between the armor plates on the angel. And uh, so Marcus just unleashes a, f well, not uh, not like the monk ability, but a flurry of blows, veritably. Um, s the blade sliding clean through the angel's armor as it, like, kind of collapses into several pieces as it's, like, all... Like, you know the cartoony effect where, like, you uh, are, like, several hawks of meat now instead of a person? It's like that. Uh, and then he falls out of the sky. Not returning to his home plane because of Dimensional Anchor. Yay! Mundus. Uh, actually, it might be better if Kyron set up the flanking for you, Cash, so you might have to delay again. I'm also just going to somehow fly past this guy and go this way. He will get an attack opportunity either way. Sure. Which is fine by me. Uh, let's see. This one. I don't get the 26. I get the 13. That's... Uh, I am smiting, so I would be at 38. So that's a miss. What? Uh, 38? What? 48, 48 right? Yeah. 46, right? Uh, 48, because I also get... Oh, plus 1 AC from those. Uh, either way, it's a miss. Yes. The Vital Strike is also a miss. Huh. I should have passed for a sec, but oh well. That's it. Right. Ash. Delay one, once more after Karen. Yeah, delaying. All right. All right. Karen will... Go like this. I think Cash now moved a whole initiative count. <laughs> link before half the people. Oh, uh, you don't have to move. So close. So move like here. And bite him. Single attack, bite. It's a miss. That would be Cash. Um, there. And. Stabby, stabby. Yeah, remember, sneak is 10 d8. 10 d8, sorry. Uh, I rolled d6s, so. You roll that. Got lower! That's what happens. Uh, that would then be 42, which is then 70, if I'm not wrong. <coughs> Hmm? 70? Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah, V78. Why am I? Well, I'm, I'm mistaking all my 8s for 6s today. <laughs> Chloe. Chloe heals. 3 points of damage. Mm. Alrighty, can, can you stop him from killing Kyron? Stop him from killing Kyron? Uh, yes I can actually. That'd be good. Do you want me to? Yes. My, uh, well, you know, alright. Zacharias will uh, snap his dread fingers, and uh, he'll suffocate the bastard. <laughs> I like that thing we got there. On the piers, and then he will do a fortitude save. If he, if he so he makes it. Alright, uh, he is staggered for one round. Staggered. Yep, and we'll do a quick and dacing fireball, because it's what the kids like. But even shoot directly at Kyron if you wanted to. Shoot it directly at Kyron. He's like, catch! Why not? Exactly. Why not? Uh, thirty-three again for the <laughs> for the fireball. And the reflex save is a twenty-five. Should be in two. Yeah, I assume it. Thirty-eight fire damage. He takes half. Um, let me scoot a bit closer. Key. So I can get all the people fighting this thing in the aura. Whoop. 
Here we go. And You're in danger. I, uh, hardly. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm deaf to death. <laughs> Arg! <laughs> Yeah. It's about being the city's savior. You were saying. Only you one way to really deal with this. I recommend if you're going to take over, so you do it more covertly. A um, defensive casting is uh, like what's the DC of it? Fifteen times twice the spell level. Uh, <laughs> Fifteen plus twice the spell level. And you not, use not your times. caster level or? It's, it's, yeah. it's cast level plus your ability modifier. Alright, that makes it a little more doable. For high level spells, it gets a little bit ridiculous. Uh huh. That is. Cleric spell abilities? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> uh, no. Probably. Unless it's like a third <laughs> level spell. Yeah. Fourth would work. Fourth level spell would work, but no, it wouldn't. Oh, what? Okay, 15 no, plus? He fails that, so he can't cast a spell. Yeah. It just fails. Would... Alright. That would have been great, though. Uh, Nyx is going to suffocate the bastard. I'll try. <gasps> That's uh, DC 23 fortitude. I like that thing you have. It's called yeah. air. Yeah, makes that. Alright. Your Void Dragon is basically your vacuum cleaner. Yeah, he's like... Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love... Sorry, I just like the idea of the vacuum cleaner dragon now. It's it's vacuuming souls. Mm -hmm. yeah. can get to it. Like, you let it go through the city. And... You'll see. Did it go through the city? Is this a thing? A serious? Let's see, what do. Let's see why I can... <laughs> go around to here. I'm going to cast a healing spell on Chiron. Is it a heal or a healing spell? Healing. Okay. But sorry, you only get 30, 35 hit points. That's fine by me. Yeah, I'm done spending resources for now, so. Alright, done. Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> I like having this wait. 10 reach, by the Hang way. Hang on, I'll just charge. Oh, wait. <laughs> to get that extra 5 feet, I'm gonna smite and charge. <laughs> He'll smack you. That's okay. That he he's did. not smiting me. No, he's not. And you're not smiting him. He just did. He smited him. George. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good. Ha ha! Nine! Huh? Sorry, so minus minus Marcus smites four. and becomes German. Known <laughs> 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 fact. Ach, mein Leben! At the Hell Knights. Still immune to fire. Ach, so. mein hell. Wait, how can you say it's Moody's in the most German way possible? There's an equal sign in there. What's the, what's the German word for hell? It's Hölle. 66. All right. Ach, mein Hölle. Ach, mein Hölle. <laughs> oh. That is quite German. Shall we finish this with a flyby attack? Alrighty, sensing his weak prey, he's going to uh, Delmon is going to cast a quick and true strike and then just crash into him. <laughs> uh, that's <laughs> it. Temporary attack bonus of like that flight. Of You're gonna press him eight. Alright, that's it. I think. <laughs> <laughs> you would hit uh, you would hit Mithra with that, I think. So smiting. So yeah. For, uh, that's twenty six destroyed. Alrighty. So you wrestle it to the ground. Just ram it, biting, and then it probably disappears because it wasn't anchored. Dimensional anchor, it wasn't. Was it? Both were anchored. So they both. Oh yeah. Alright. Yeah, to sort of fall, you know, Angel the blood celestial rain. holy blood, Angel hurting rain. all wicked who were hurt hit by it. But uh, you know, it still rains down chunks of, of flesh that begins to dissolve into the ether of this world, becoming arcane energy from. Instead of divine. Well, Sakurai will look down upon the city. 
Uh, can I use like some magic to enhance his voice, sort of project it? Sure. Okay. Uh, he will, you know, point towards the falling carcasses and like chunks of flesh and stuff that hits upon the ground, and uh, and he will call out, "See how the falls, yeah. champions of Mithra, fall! They hold no power here. There is no one coming to save you." He will, you know, just his most baleful gaze upon the uh, the populace below. The power of the lords are incontestable. Know this, and obey. Oppose us, and be utterly destroyed. The choice is simple. basically projecting all the menace he can, which is a fair bit, honestly. Sure. Yeah, both both Telemundus and Karen will underline this with with a big roar, which does not need to be magically enhanced to be heard. Oh. I will the city as people quickly move into their houses again, trying to not be seen. Indeed. Quickly run around looking for unicorn banners. <laughs> Someone has already put one up. Be like, like they, we they weave them in the basement, and it's like, oh, someone has distributed like five hundred thousand weird white masks. <sighs> Damn it! You must shoot them all. You know that doesn't work, Jonas. Something, something, treason, and plot. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, there's a lot of treason and plotting going on, admittedly. Yeah. Flying up here, above the palace. Oh, well, the old palace. Oh, kind of broken. Sacrifice like massages his temples. I have a lot of mending to do. Oh. Berathor dead and escaped. And now, bloody angels attacking. There are more <sighs> angels? Or was that it? I don't see more around here. How's the sky? There, are more, there must be out somewhere in the countryside. Who knows? How is the rage between heaven and hell in the skies going? It's it's ending. We should head back to the palace, I suppose. You're sitting on it. No, this is the old palace. This is still the palace. No, the okay. Agathium is on the other side of the water. No, the Agathium is up north. The Adarium is. Yes. Don't, don't judge. They're all, the, they're all got similar names. Uh oh. Well, we're going far away. Yeah, well, that, <laughs> the slab site's like, ARG! I have maps here, so. Oh, wow, there Did you move us all? Far away. And, I forgot someone who did something while I was. Oh, yeah, you forgot a whole bunch of us. <laughs> you you just moved Karen Telemondas. It'll be and black now. So. Karen Telemondas and Nick's can and move. Wait. Oh, all, all the dragons. All the important people. <laughs> Can I just a dragon right now? Uh, that's true. He's a snake. Like, I can't calculate how far this is! <laughs> so could you move yourself there and just... I, I can't, my yeah, laptop... Let, let me do it. Where my do I laptop need to is down just there. Oh, dying. God. You're lagging everything right now, so... I'm, I'm not moving, I'm just... I'm doing me. nothing. I'm just scrolling around the map, I'm not actually clicking no anything. No one tells me nothing. Did the map just disappear? Yes. Okay. Can, can you force me when we get there? Yes. Thank you. 